We're back at it. Wait a second. Yep. 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 Threat I have received the past 14 years. I have a letter here from Janet Pratt that lives directly across the street from the Canton police. I just want to read what they did to her property because she dared to go on Facebook and recommended her grandson my work. To the Canton police chief, second request. On January 1st or thereabouts, I sent a short informational report to your office about the incident below. I had observed someone at about 6 to 6.30 a.m. with a small yellow backhoe try to tear down my wall. They were on my property and the driveway where the wall turns in. I have pictures of the damage. At about the same time, I discovered my gas light had been damaged. It has been there for 45 years and occasionally would have been changed to the, the mantle. If there had been a strong wind, I know I had to replace a major part of the lantern. It was damaged not by the wind, by someone entering my property and destroy it on purpose. I have turned the gas light off and do not feel safe to do, to do the repair and I can determine who is coming to, to my property uninvited. This incident happened a few months ago and I'm taking the order measure to ensure my safety. I see there is a camera in the phone line and the end of the driveway and I'm requesting that a review be made of the tape of that particular <coughs> camera. Please let me know when illegal steps I need to take to acquire that the tape as far back as six months. Also, what the cost and process would be if I would be permitted to hire someone of my own choosing to do the observation. So has to say, save your time. I realize this is asking a lot of your office, which is why I am offering to do so. I will pursue this. I will pursue this as I no longer feel safe. Please let me know some sort of timeline when I may hear about progress regarding the tape. I know this is a lot to ask of your office, and if I can help anyway, so as not to make your, your job more difficult, I would be more than happy to do so, Janet Pratt. Now, this is important though. The second letter is when I was attacked in Canton, called an effort nigger said I'll be shot in the head, and um, I complained to the police and I complained to the select board. This is what the business administrator wrote to me. Dear Ms. Delgado, this letter is dated July 17, 20. Dear Ms. Delgado, this letter is being written to you respectfully and to ask your thoughtful consideration or request sent for below. This is all lies I'm about to read to you. There had been episodes at the town hall where it has been reported to me and I have observed that you have interacted with staff in a loud, profane and aggressive way such that at the conclusion of the conversation, the staff person felt intimidated, uncomfortable, but a liar. And fearful, I'm told that you <coughs> your stated to the staff, and I heard directly from you, that all the town employees are corrupt, discriminatory, and a racist. What a liar. I pick in the front of town hall, I stated, Mr. Frill, some of your administration are racists. I'm a Christian, I know not, if, not if everybody's equal. So I would never say everybody in this town, in this room is racist, but I know some of you are. On July 2020, you were appearing on the board of the Sessora's office seeking information where to obtain a picketing permit. A picketing permit. It has been reported to me that you acted in a loud, aggressive, profane manner with the Sessora staff such, such that you caused them to fear, fear and they felt intimidated. You entered directly to the town clerk's office and hence you saw the select board office. While at, in the select board's office, you also act in a loud, aggressive, profane manner. You aggressively, aggressively gesticulated to such that you pushed the plastic glass petition separating the waiting area from the staff. So God help me. What a liar. What a liar. I never did that. I was very upset. I just got assaulted at the park. <coughs> 
by Scotland Heart brought in law and her sister. And he tells me, quote, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait, I'm going to have your teeth kicked in. Rafferty, Helena Rafferty, just a liar she is. And I present the evidence, Sheridan Police Department have the evidence and the video, the picture. Rafferty stated that the candle was thrown on the ground. Thank God I show it to the Piketon Police, Sheridan Police Department, which he yelled at the police station, that's a hit. The man hit me about 25 feet with a can of sword on my truck. Rafferty lie on the report that he said, Mr. Delgado, Bobby said he threw the can on the ground. I said, you're a liar not to speak to me. Rafferty is a liar. And I stop right here. I have some more letter coming in the next section. What you got, what is, you have done to me. And you, John Connolly, this is directly to you, sir. You have stated I've received the, 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 all the message from McNeese and Officer Landhart that I will never work in this town again. Boy, as we don't stone. You neglect one of the best stone mason ever walk in this town ever since that the Freemason came okay. and they built the bridges. Thank you. Thank you. We've done uh, three, six, twelve. You are a scumbag, one. John, all due respect. So we have time for one more. One more. We've doubled up a few. Hi, my name is Elise Cohen. I live in Canton. Um, one second, I just ran upstairs. I need a breath. Um, so I believe Mr. Delgado read a letter just now, and uh, it speaks to the uh, bullying and the retribution abuse of power that's gone on in Canton by the town officials and um, what they're trying to do by keeping people outside um, from running businesses that are small businesses in Canton. Um, we heard from FNF Power Corporation that this was going on. Now we just heard another company, Rolling Stone Masonry, that's run out of town. This has been going on a really long time and it needs to stop. Um, the reason, um, sorry, this is, what I was gonna say is I have a whole list of events and things that have happened and I'm not going to sit here and outline them right now, but I need you to know that this is what he just did and what I'm going to do is an introduction to many more situations that the random citizens here know of and we have experienced. There are several people in this room tonight, in fact, who have been affected by it. And I can only guess that they may want to share with all the other random citizens the way that they have, the treatment they've received from the police department and select board. The audit is so necessary right now. Um, the, the unethical and potentially criminal actions of numerous town employees has been um, exposed. And if something isn't done about this, uh, you know, we're really gonna be, I don't even know what to say, um, but, we all have information and it's not being hidden anymore. Stuff is go going to come out. Um, the woman that he talked about is a 90, 85 year old woman that said she feels threatened, doesn't feel safe in her own community. I don't understand you know, why that's not investigated when she um, was uh, put in two requests, two letters. Um, so, sorry. Um, I was just gonna say that every single resident in Canton and beyond should be outraged at the charade. Any one of us could be framed and prosecuted for a crime that we did not commit. How free do you really think you are, especially if you're an outsider in Canton? If you're untouchable, maybe you'll be protected, but that's at the high cost of selling your soul to the dark. The way that whistleblowers have been treated here is egregious and there's a clear pattern of intimidation. It's a long-standing pattern of raging abuse and power and there's clear conflicts of interest where people don't recuse themselves, they don't follow ethics laws and it's just beyond disgraceful. And I don't know anymore what to do or say because nothing, you just talk to the wall and you can't even trust the people you know, to help. So I'm just here to say, um, you know, something must be done. The people in Canton, besides the regular people that show up must show up, do not be intimidated. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. Any other uh, business? Nope. Look for a motion to adjourn. Mr. Chair, make a motion to adjourn at 8.06. Motion been made and seconded? Yep. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, 3-0. Thank you.